Hi, Dr. Don here, and today we're making one of my most requested dishes. This is going to be roasted garlic, mashed cauliflower. And this is a wonderful dish. First of all, we gotta attack this defenseless head or bunch of cauliflower, however you see fit to address it. And we need to break this down so that we can steam it before we incorporate it into our delicious mashed cauliflower. So let's get this guy liberated. Get out of the way. You want to cut this into small florets. They're going to steam. We want to make it easy. You don't have to get real picky about this because after all we are going to be mashing this or in this case lightly pureeing it but it's good practice when you're using your knife and developing your knife skills it's good practice to use kind of like the Asian view on cutting vegetables uniformity in cutting and preparing leads to uniformity in cooking and that just makes your dishes much more predictable and makes the product easier to handle overall. So we're just gonna finish chopping this up. This is gonna go right into our trusty bamboo steamer, which is standing by right here. I'm gonna continue cutting this up, getting it uniform. And it's going to go to the steamer and it's going to steam for about 10 minutes till it's fork tender. So I'll go to the steamer and I'll be back with uh, the next part of this process. Okay, we're back. I just took the bamboo steamer off the steamer, off the wok, I should say. And there we have our nice fork tender cauliflower. It smells lovely. So we're going to transfer our cauliflower into our processor. It's kind of, you can let this cool down as much as you like. I do like it at least on the warm side because it helps all the ingredients that we're going to put in there. Not that there's that many. This is not a complicated dish by any stretch of the imagination. There we go. Fill up our container. Okay. That's about all that wants to take. It was a big big bunch of cauliflower. Okay, let's get this party started. We're going to bring in some low-fat, light, soft cream cheese. And I'm going to put, oh, that's about two tablespoons into the hopper. Kind of get him down in there so he participates in all the fun here. And we're going to do a little sprinkle of salt. I'd say it's a oh, half teaspoon. Remember with salt, you can always add it, but you can't take it away. This is the star of the show here, I think, and this is our roasted garlic. Please check out the video. I showed you how to do this. It's easy to do, but there is a little technique involved. And you, could, you can put as much or as little garlic as you like. If you guys have watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I am a garlic lover. So is my family. So on this we agree. So I put uh, about five cloves in there. You can put more or less, or none for that matter, if that suits you. Okay, let's put a couple grounds, fresh ground pepper from our pepper mill. Always fresh ground whenever possible, please, please, please. And we're gonna do a couple turns or Parmigiano Reggiano Parmesan cheese. As much or as little or none as you'd like. That just puts another profile to this and makes it just absolutely spectacular. Okay, that's about all we're gonna need. We're gonna start our first process here and see what the product looks like. So, I'm gonna make some noise here. Push down our 
ingredients to get the blades doing their thing. Starting to look like something. Cooperate with me there. That is looking delightful. The consistency that you bring to this is up to you. Some just like you treat this just as you would your mashed potatoes, as I used to eat mashed potatoes all the time. I don't eat them anymore. This is a superior product. It just tastes better. Plus, it helped me achieve my 30 pound weight loss goal on the ITG diet. This was one of my go to recipes. It always tastes good and it feel it, it tastes like something you shouldn't be eating, which is always great on a, on a, on a diet. So that looks really, really nice. Let's give a taste. Delightful. Needs a little salt, little adjustment there. And I'm going to just do a tiny, just a couple drops of my very, very good extra virgin olive oil. Again, we try to layer these flavors. This is not necessary to do, it's just me. This is how I like to do them. Don't be afraid of your food. Play with your food. Make it yours. And that's the dish. Make this. Enjoy it. You won't regret it. Yummy!